entrepreneurs often ask me, Sylvia, how do I get to 100,000 a month? Well, that's a great question, right? And it's kind of like building a house. Like, how do you build a house? We always build a house in stages, right? We wouldn't start with the second or third floor before we build a foundation and a ground floor first. And the same goes with your business. My name is Sylvia Myers and over the past six years I've empowered thousands of online stores in over 35 countries around the world with knowledge designed to quadruple return on edge spend. If you want to get to the 100,000 a month, we really have four stages here. The first one is $5,000 per month, second one $20,000 per month, third one up to $50,000 per month, and the fourth one up to 100,000 per month. And of course, each different stage has slightly different things you need to do or you need to master in order to be able to move to the next stage. So what is it in the first stage? So in the very first stage, getting to the 5,000 a month, you really need to master what we call the basics. You really need to master the basics and part of the basics is that understanding, that basic understanding of your customer avatar. Who is your customer? What does your customer want and need? And what is it that you want to provide to him as a value to him or her, right? And so as a result, once you understand those basics and the basics of advertisement and how to drive traffic to your store, then we really need to master how to get to the 100 sales as soon as possible. So your focus in quadrant one if you are here is really to get to the hundred sales as soon as possible. And the other thing you want to focus on in the first quadrant when you want to get to the 5,000 a month as fast as possible is really a single traffic source. So I'm going to put single traffic source. And the reason for that is because you want to be focused. You want to be laser focused. I've seen countless number of entrepreneurs who just like I do a little bit on YouTube and a little bit on Facebook and a little bit on Google and a little bit on TikTok and whatnot and before you know it there is kind of no system to that things all over the place and money gamble down the drain and we don't want that right so in the first quadrant when you're trying to get to the five thousand per month as fast as possible you want to make sure you master the basics really understand the basics of how to drive the right traffic to your store, how to target the right customer avatar. You want to get to the 100 sales per month as fast as possible and you want to get that single traffic source as well. Now, once we're here, we need to apply slightly different measures to get to the 20,000 per month, right? So to get to the 20,000 per month, we really need to start focusing on doubling conversions. So essentially, you want to 2x your conversion rate conversion rate so you want to double your conversion rate whatever your conversion rate was here in quadrant one in quadrant two you really focus on doubling it second thing you really need to do in quadrant two is optimize your audience optimize where your traffic is coming from and who are you actually targeting and that goes to the next level of understanding your customer avatar on that deeper level so that you understand what that customer is looking for and who that customer is so in other words we also call this audience optimization so optimize optimize audience optimize your audience and third thing you have to do in quadrant two, which is against so many entrepreneurs, keep forgetting this, is to get your email to work. Get your email to work. So I'm going to put in capital letters, email to work. Get your email to work. Why is that? Because email, frankly, is the most profitable source on earth. You already are getting customers. You need to start targeting them via email as well to be getting that repeat purchase and making sure that you're not just focusing on revenue, but you actually start generating better profit for your store. So in quadrant two, you focus on doubling your conversion rates, whatever they were from quadrant one, optimizing your audiences on your better understanding of your avatar and getting your email to work which means you're going to be getting more repeat purchase and you're going to have better profitability in your store. 
Now in quadrant three, when we are moving from quadrant two to quadrant three, up to 50,000 per month, what we are really looking for here is the diversification. So what we want to do is diversify. Diversify. Now, what does it mean? Remember how I said that it's in quadrant one, when entrepreneurs typically like, you know, throw money in the air and try to do too many things at once but instead we need to focus on single source of traffic. Now in quadrant two, most entrepreneurs still have mainly just one single source of traffic. And the thing is that in quadrant three, to be able to expand, we need to diversify. We don't want to be no longer just dependent on Google or just dependent on Facebook or just dependent on Instagram or just dependent on TikTok or just dependent on Pinterest or whatever that is. We need to diversify. So we need to make sure that we actually have our budget spread in different sources of traffic so that we can start expanding that business. And second thing we need to do in quadrant three is increase value for our customers. So increase, increase value, increase value. Now, what does this mean? We need to increase value so that we can start increasing prices, okay? Increasing value for our customer, it again goes back to that customer avatar and getting to know that customer even at a deeper level, really understanding how can we increase value for this customer so that we can increase prices. Because often in quadrant one and quadrant two, we're just doing whatever we can to start getting those sales and then here to start getting those profits and making sure we are running a profitable and sustainable business. But in quadrant three, we need to start looking at how can we actually increase value and provide this customer with more value so that we can increase the prices and drive average order values up. Because here we've already improved conversion rates, remember? And here we are going to work on that average order value so that we can grow the business through multiple channels. Now in quadrant four, this is super exciting. Now in quadrant four, we're really looking at scaling predictably, consistently and predictably. So scale predictably. What does this mean? Uh, I hope I spelled it all right. So what does this mean? So in quadrant four, we already have an understanding what return on investment we've got from each of these channels, what is our regular cost per acquisition and as a result we need to have budget and work backwards. And frankly so many entrepreneurs on this level still don't have that figure out. They just kind of intuitively you know place their money in different places and then worry about the cash flow later and really struggle to make it bigger and better and bring that that business beyond seven figures. But this is where we need to start scaling predictably and therefore we need to be more systemized and make sure we've got the budgets and work backwards and really have an understanding what we want to achieve from different type of channels. Also, we're focusing here on the weak link. So each, each business around this, around this uh, quadrant has uh, multiple channels and from those multiple channels, there will be one channel that's performing better than, the, than another. So in this quadrant, we want to scale predictably what's working and we want to focus on the weak link to make sure we improve it and make it better. Now, the other thing we need to do in quadrant four is increase what we call customer lifetime value. So increase, we call it customer lifetime value. Now, what does this mean? So again, remember, I keep talking about the customer avatar, really that understanding of who your customer is. So in quadrant four, we extend the tenure with that customer to make sure that the customer is coming back over and over and over. And we follow that customer on the path, making sure we are engaging with the customer on a regular basis so that we can increase that journey of that customer with us. And the last thing we start to do in quadrant four, we start to expand even further. Expand. Now, what do I mean by expand? We start to expand 
into newer audiences and essentially start expanding our customer avatar. So in quadrant one, we just get an understanding of who that avatar is. In quadrant two, we have a little bit deeper understanding of who that customer is. In quadrant three, we need to have a very solid understanding of who the customer is so that we can increase value, so that we can increase prices. In here, we are increasing the longevity or the duration of the customer being with us, but then expanding to a new customer that we're getting to know from the beginning again. So it's kind of like creating a new vertical on your business so that you expand your audience and get to know the avatar all over again. And that's why, guys, this is a cycle. That's why this is a cycle or a circle. And essentially, what do you need to do in each quadrant moves around whatever you got you to 5,000 a month. It's not the same that's going to get you to 20,000 a month. It's not the same that's going to get you to 50,000 a month, okay? But once you get to quadrant four, then essentially you go through the same cycle again. So this is how you're going to get to 100,000 a month. It's in stages. And I guys really want you to pay attention to this because if you are in quadrant three, but perhaps you must have me might have missed some of the points from quadrant one and two, by all means, make sure you go back and you master that because this is going to be much more profitable if you missed some points from one and two and you get them to work. However, if you are in quadrant one, I really guys just want you to focus on quadrant one because always remember that story with building a house. We never built floor three, four and five before we build the ground work, we do the foundation and then we do the ground floor and floor one. Okay, so with that said, guys, now it's your time to do it. So let's go.